Okay, guys, on this one we've got a BMW Mini, which is developed uh, era. Um, started up there, you see the handbrake signals flashing, and uh, it's coming up with this service indicator. Um, if you just press this right hand button here and hold it for a few seconds, it should change to this image and then quickly press the indicator button in and this should allow you to cycle th through certain um, codes, service and other um, codes. Um, this one's the brakes as you can see here, this for the rear brakes, they're amber so they're okay. Uh, on this one it's red so um, more than likely the brake pads have worn and um, also I've got a um, Foxwell diagnostics tool, I've connected that which is showing me the same um, results. Uh, I managed to um, buy a, a set of front brake pads and discs with the wear indicator from Car Spears. So the first thing I'll need to do is um, just pop the bonnet here as you can see I'm going to remove the brake reservoir uh, cap so I don't get air into the system just leave the cap on the side there it will more likely be empty or low when you have a look at yours. So I've just got to remove the wheel on the one side. Although you will have to do this on both sides. First thing we've got to do is to remove the caliper. This, this is a um, sliding caliper on this uh, mini or um, a single floating caliper. Um, if I just remove these, I think it was 13 mil head bolts here, first and foremost, to split the caliper, because this caliper comes in two parts. And that should enable me to just slide the, slide the uh, piston side of the caliper off. And then now that I've backed it off a bit, I've got to remove the um, brake pad wear indicator. So I'll just pop the whole brake pad out. Let's get a little screwdriver in there and just pop that side brake pad out. And here you can see I'm just disconnecting the um, sensor from the brake pad. I'll just pop the cap piston side of the caliper down here for a minute. And I'll just um, give you a little look at the way it's not completely worn down to the metal but it is worn down to the indicator. And then all I've got to do is remove the other side of the brake pad, the outer brake pad. And there it is there. Just chuck this uh, caliper around the other side so I can undo these two bolts. Uh, 16 mil bolts, I think they are, from the uh, cal caliper body. Um, just undo them. And here you can see me just removing the brake disc um, retaining nut. And I've removed for the um, caliper, and it's just coming free here. the caliper off and out of the way for the chemical body. Um, just gonna knock the disc off, sometimes it might just come straight off, just um, sometimes you gotta give them a good whack, this one's come off fairly easy. And I'll just give you a look at the disc here. It's got a bit of a lip on it and um, it could be the original disc but I'm gonna, I've, I've ordered a set anyway. You can just change the pads sometimes but I, I've gone for the pads and discs. The brake disc come um, in a bag that's um, with grease or oil to stop it from rusting on the shelf. Um, here you can see me using some degreaser um, just to get rid of that oil prior to fitting the um, discs. And once I've removed that I'll just pop the new disc on and I'll just um, 
tighten up that um, the brake disc retaining bolt. That should hold it in place. I'm just going to clean the calipers um, shims here. Um, I couldn't find a wire brush, you're better off using that. Uh, be careful, this dust is asbestos, so make sure you wear a protective um, a mask. And here, I'm just um, putting a bit of grease around the guide pins. They do tend to see sometimes. So while I've got the um, caliper um, off, caliper support off, I'll just put a bit of grease around them. And when I put them together, just make sure the gate is covered. And clip back over. And all I've got to do now is fit the 16mm head bolts um, caliper retaining bolts back in. And you, you should really torque these up, but I'm just tightening them up at, uh, for the minute. Here I'll just show you what the old and new uh, brake pads look like. Obviously it's the new pads on the top and the old ones on the bottom. Now I've just got to clip the wear indicator in to the brake pad there. That just clips in there. And that's the other end and I'll just pop that in you can put a bit of copper grease around the top of the um, brake pads help them to slide and I'm just fitting the outer brake pad in there the slot there and I'll just bring this uh, piston back over uh, with the caliper um, this piston will need to be retracted here I've got a um, retraction tool you can use a big pair of grips if you can manage it just to push the piston back um, I've just got my extraction retraction tool and I'm using the old brake pad to uh, assist yeah I'll just speed the section up there And now that I've got the piston fully wound back, I can just thread the wear indicator through and refit the caliper. And then you, you just got your two 30mm head bolts there to put back in. Uh, these should be torqued up also. But I've just tightened them up. and the discs fitted. All I've got to do now is root the um, brake um, pad wear indicator cable. The new one's still in, the old one's still in place. I'm just gonna pop the old one off and fit the new one back on. Uh, firstly it goes around the um, brake bleed nipple. You can see me doing it there. And then the second one clips onto this onto the sus uh, suspension strut. I'm just taking the old one off there. here this is the old one and I'm gonna pop the new one back in its place and then um, the, it actually connects from underneath the engine bay just show you a bit tricky to see but it actually there, there, there is actually a socket for it under here what it connects to and you've got to unplug it pull it out and when you fit the new one, plug it back in, which I have done here, and then it just clips into the side. Here, you can see me just um, uh, pulling the old one through. Let's pull it out. Once I've disconnected it, that's the old brake pad um, indicator. And then I'm just gonna uh, push the new one through and reconnect it uh, in, inside the engine bay. feeding that through and like I said once that's fed through it's, it's just a matter of um, reconnecting it to the other end 
and just a recap um, like I said I fitted the brake pads on this just clip the brake, sound, brake um, pad indicator into the brake pad and it fits around the bleed cover here and then up here you'll see it also clips into the suspension leg and there's a um, mounting on the chassis and then the socket goes through this cover into the engine bay and that's all connected up and that's the pads and discs fitted um, just going to do the same on the other side even though there's no brake wear indicator on the other side and then pump the brakes uh, just to make sure the pads have seated and don't forget to put this um, brake fluid filler cap back on and as I've said pump the brakes with the engine running prior to test driving now we're going to reset the um, brake pad indicator just hold this button down until you get this menu and then all you're going to do is quickly press this button on the end of the indicator and it will um, cycle through these menus until you come to the brakes that's the rear brakes the orange and that's the front one in red and all you've got to do is press down the indicator stalk and hold it down and it should reset and turn to amber and there you can see it's reset itself there and you're pretty much done with that and as you can see the engine's running no errors uh, displayed thanks for watching once again and please subscribe